And my name is Isabel Danko. My husband and I and our kids have been here for just over 10 years. It was the size of the bedrooms. Um, it was the fantastic cool room we have and the changing room upstairs with the uh, Carrie Bradshaw shoe room. But what makes this house really different is the kitchen. I do cook still. I'm one of the few in that still cook. Um, plenty of space to prepare in the butler's pantry. I've got a teppanyaki grill, there's an indoor barbecue, six hot plates. And it flows really well in parties. So, because we did a lot of formal entertaining, we had the dining room and the lounge room. Um, and it worked really well. And when we're having less formal, we're in the back, in the family area, in the barbecue area. And as soon as we moved in, I got my feng shui master. And he spent about five hours here measuring and calculating. And he said, immediately, you must do two things, which we did, which was the um, metal doors, the side, and what we did in, off the laundry. It was just to balance some feng shui. And as soon as we did that, the energy was really soft in the house. It's very inviting. And um, it's also very strong financially, so it gives these strength to the financial sector of your lives. Now the kids, you know, bring their friends, and you know, our friends come over and spend a lot of time. The, the pool is magnificent when you're in it and you look up. It's, the trees are so tall, you feel like you're in somewhere in the Northern Territory. Well, big cupboards, uh, desk space and uh, um, big enough rooms. I mean, so many of them are tiny boxes. So my kids were teens at that point and they needed to have some space when they had friends over. Okay, I've, I'm a garden person. I've created beautiful gardens in every home and I think I've done a lovely job here. So it's partly it's like giving up your children when you're looking at mature trees that are flowering. and It's a stunning garden. It's very centred, lots of gardenias as well. That's just one of the things. Um, uh, I think the kitchen <laughs> is going to be the hardest thing. Um, but our new place is going to have a very similar kitchen, so I'm not giving it up. <laughs> the fireplace is fantastic. When you're sitting in the dining room and you look across and the glow is there, we also love the underfloor heating. The dog loves it too for her bones, but you can walk barefoot on the concrete. It's really, really nice. Uh, I think it's the best sort of heating. It doesn't dry your nose. It doesn't dry the air. It's very clean. It's warm. It's a warm, cosy family home.